Hey everyone, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for my final movie update for both 2019 and the 2010s decade. Yep, the VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and CD update for December 31st, 2019, or New Year's Eve 2019, whatever you want to call it. In this update, I have a total of six VHSs, eight DVDs, Nine Blu-rays and two CDs to show off. And on Thursday, December 26th, I got a Blu-ray and a CD at Walmart. And on Sunday, I received two of the Blu-rays I ordered from Amazon using my $50 Amazon gift card. The other one was a pre-order, so I won't be getting that until next week. If you saw my cutie tag post, you probably know what that is. And... Today I went back to Walmart and got three more DVDs, or should I say three DVDs and three more Blu-rays. And then I went to Goodwill and got six VHSs, five DVDs, three Blu-rays, and another CD. So I've been rambling on for almost a minute and a half now, so let's not waste any more time and let's get this update started. And we're going to start with the VHSs I got at Goodwill today. And this first one's in a rental case. It has a blockbuster video date of March 25th, 1997. But however, this was actually a former rental from a different video store called Movie World. So I don't know how Blockbuster ended up getting it. The 27th week of 1996. And all the rest of the tapes are in slip cases. This is one of two MGM movie time tapes I got today. November 6, 1998. Two print dates, September 5th, 2001 and September 10th, 2001 which that was just one day before the devastating 9-11 attacks. Now this next one is resealed. And this one is a Blockbuster exclusive, which is the main reason why I decided to get this tape. Blockbuster date is January 24th, 2000. Yeah, because of the Blockbuster video sticker and this sticker being right here, that's the main reason why I kept it sealed so I can unseal it on camera. And I don't have the actual movie, The Blair Witch Project, yet, but I might get it sometime. So, I'm going to get this out of the shrink wrap. It's been a while since you guys have seen me unseal a VHS on camera. Even though this one's resealed. Not going to bother peeling the blockbuster in label off because the print date's in invisible ink. Now here's the other MGM movie time tape I got today. This one's an MGM UA movie time tape. I'll show this insert in a minute. 
June 20th, 1997. And it came with this MGM 75th anniversary insert. Buy any six MGM videos marked with our 75th anniversary sticker and receive a free MGM video. And here are the videos that you could choose as part of this offer. This expired on January 31st, 2000. And this insert's copyrighted 1999, so... I guess um, they repackaged this VHS in 1999 and put this insert in. And now here's the last VHS. This one's a former rental from Hollywood Video. The fifth week of 1999. So that's the VHSs. And now on to the DVDs. Which I'll point out which ones I got at Walmart. But if you don't hear me say anything, then I got it at Goodwill. I do remember seeing the Amanda show on Nickelodeon back in the early to mid 2000s. And it's a pretty funny show. And both Drake Bell and Josh Peck were on this show before they did Drake and Josh. Now the next two are two of the three DVDs that I got at Walmart. I also had the first major week on DVD, which that movie was released by Paramount, but both this movie and Major Week Back to the Myers, which is the third movie released by Warner Brothers, co-produced by Morgan Creek Entertainment. Yeah, both both the Major Week sequels are now owned by Sony, along with um, a lot of Morgan Creek's other movies. Yeah, I don't have Major Week Back to the Myers yet, which is the third movie, but I might try to get it sometime. And what's weird is the original Major League was rated R, while this one's only rated PG. And the third movie was rated PG-13. And here's the last DVD that I got at Walmart. Which I got this from the 374 bin along with It Comes at Night. The slip covers from 2019, but the DVD itself is still from 2012.
And here's the last DVD. And comes with this ad for Blu-ray. That's it for the DVDs. And now on to the Blu-rays. Which I'll point out the ones I got at Goodwill. And the one I got at Walmart on Thursday night, the 26th. And the two that I got from Amazon. Yeah. I saw this movie in theaters on October 1st, and this was a pretty good movie. And if anyone wants any of the um, digital movie codes I'm showing off in this video, you already know the drill. Now here's one of the Blu-rays that I got at Goodwill. Now the next two are the Blu-rays I received from Amazon on Sunday, December 29th. Yeah, even though it was a Sunday, I still received them that day because they were delivered by Amazon's delivery service. I saw this movie in theaters on August 5th and it was a pretty good movie. It was a pretty good spinoff of the Fast and Furious franchise. Both the Blu-ray and DVD are on black discs. Now this one came from a third party Amazon seller and it actually had a Walmart voodoo sticker on the front, so obviously this copy was originally purchased at Walmart. Yeah, the copyright date on here is 2010, but I believe this is still a 2009 Blu-ray, but just a re-release. Now here's the Blu-ray that I got at Walmart on Thursday, December 26th. Yep. At the time I bought this, I forgot that this was actually a sequel to that G.I. Joe movie. But now I do have both the live action G.I. Joe movies. This code expired on October 31st or Halloween 2013. 
And I don't really feel like saying which movies I also have, so I'm not going to bother doing that. And this expired on, this code expired on July 30th, 2015. Now here's another Blu-ray I got at Goodwill today. This is a 2015 re-release, but the Blu-ray is still from 2011. This is another movie I saw in theaters. I saw this one on September 24th. And it was a good movie. Also, the first three Rambo movies on VHS, along with the 2008 Rambo movie, just the fourth one on DVD. And I was originally going to get both this and the Ad Astra Blu-ray on Thursday night, the 26th. But the reason why I was not able to get them then is because Walmart had put them in the stupid plastic security things that they put their new releases in. And there were no cashiers available for me to get them out. So I had to put them back. And I just ended up getting that one other Blu-ray in the CD, which I'm going to show in a minute. But at least today, I finally was able to get both of those Blu-rays I wasn't able to get on Thursday night. The back of this insert's blank, so I'm not going to bother showing it. And now the last Blu-ray, which is the last one that I got at Goodwill today. This Blu-ray is from Mill Creek Entertainment, and the movie is from Hollywood Pictures. This one does have artwork inside, which I'll show you right now. And finally, the two CDs, starting with the one I got at Walmart on Thursday, the 26th. I do like the Beatles, so I decided to get this. Yeah, I gotta pull the disc out. Here's what the CD itself looks like. And here's the um, booklet that came with it. So I'm gonna flip through it quickly. And finally, the CD that I got today, Goodwill. And I do like The Simpsons, so I couldn't pass this up. And I had the first seven seasons of The Simpsons on DVD, and I am going to try to get the others as soon as I can. And I do know that all of the seasons of The Simpsons, except the current one, are available on Disney+. Plus. And I know that... Seasons after season 20 are not available on DVD yet, but Disney Plus has them. I like how the disc looks like a donut. Mmm, donut. That's what Homer Simpson says. And here's the booklet. And that's going to do it for my VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and CD update for New Year's Eve 2019, aka December 31st, 2019. 
my final update of both 2019 and the 2010s decade. And I am going to be ordering some more stuff from eBay tonight. So be on the lookout for a community tab post of what I order. And until then, this is Brands Movie Corner signing off. Happy New Year, and I will see you all in 2020.